Uh, we are on our way to go do that mountain from my last video. Um, see how far we get. Uh, hopefully we make it all the way to the top and, and don't get stuck anywhere. Um, I am guessing the snowpack's probably going to be a little worse than it was last year, but I won't know until we get up there and we are, I mean, we're we're about three weeks earlier than I tried last year when we ran into the snow around 9,000-ish. Um, so we will see what happens when we get out there and I will do a little bit more video and take some pictures and all that stuff while I'm on the trail and it will be included in this video. So I will be back in a while after we're up in the mountains. Really, really, really quickly, closer view of where we're heading. Super excited about this. It's probably gonna take a few hours to do, but it's so worth it. Um, anyway, see you back later. started at in Tooele, we were sitting at somewhere around somewhere around 4,500 feet. So we're doing close to a, close to a 3,000 foot climb just to get to where we're going to start the hike today. Pretty exciting. All right, we are just getting started on the trail. Um, about 10 minutes before 9 o'clock so we will see how long this takes to uh, get up to the top and all that but I'm sure you're not here to see me so I will show more of the trail so, Deseret Peak Wilderness we are entering named after the peak we're climbing uh, is the trail. Most of it was pretty much kind of similar to this um, last year when I did it. Uh, at least until we hit the snow and you couldn't see the trail anymore. But uh, this is pretty much the trail. Well, this is quite literally the trail actually. Yeah, I forgot my trekking poles, which I'm a little annoyed about. But, oh well, I'll find a stick somewhere. Huh? Oh. Ah, this is our first major obstacle. It's an obstacle indeed. Last year, uh, last year it would have gone up over my boots crossing this. Um, and this year, 
this here, it's not even going to hit the, uh, it's not even going as deep as the lace is. I mean, but that's cool. I thought I was going to have to take my shoes off this year to cross. Apparently not. I absolutely love this sound. I could sleep to this sound all the time. A little out of breath. Now, this is one of the reasons I do this. Oh my god, these views. Uh, so I talked to talked to someone just coming down the path and um, he said that the snow gets fairly bad when you get up there. You can't see the trail anymore. And uh, when you get up into the saddle before you get up on top of the peak, you can't see the trail at all anymore. It's just snow. Uh, I've got a I've got a GPS uh, app on my phone I use that I track trails with. So I think I'll try to continue the trail as much as I can using the GPS and follow the trail on that and uh, see if I can't make it up to the peak or not. If not, oh well. There's always uh, another time. The last year when I came up here, um, this was all covered in snow. Where you can see the uh, snow path here. All of this was completely covered in snow, probably a couple feet deep last year. So, this is promising. Uh, I think I'll get further than I did last year, at least. Here's shooting for the summit. Yeah. So here's another little snow pack pathway. Um, this one actually comes from two ways. Kind of comes from this way down, and then across over that way, coming from the uh, little dip up here, working its way down this way. There. So the snow will get packed up during the winter time, and as it warms and thaws, it works its way down the mountain, and then eventually just melts, and that's what feeds our rivers and streams. In case you didn't know that, there's a little science lesson for you. Uh, we're a little over a thousand feet up right now from where we started. Um, not 100% sure on the distance yet. I haven't calculated that yet. But we're still cruising. Kind of slowish, but we're still cruising. So the mountain is up that way. Good times. <laughs>